when you close your eyes. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, I always want to do it right now. Yeah. Um, so this this is um, dealing with negative entities, um, but it's um, dealing with um, like negativity negativity in general. Um, it's a private session, but I, yeah, I just want to get it out there for for everyone and Ivan's bringing someone through. Now, yeah, so thank you, everyone. Blessings to you. I am the prime creator. What you are going through is a major test of your spirituality. You are going into a direction what others won't. You are not fully aware of what you are connecting to. But this will come known to you at a later time. But you are going in astral and many realms of your earth where others will not go. And you are shedding light. Sharing light is a better word for that. Sharing light across this earth in the lower realms of this planet, the lower astral. And this is making any many entities very upset. So they are coming after you. Yes, you are reawakening yourself. And in doing this, you are bringing much healing. You are working with Yeshua also, but you are working with many angel, Ar angels, Archangel Michael. But they're shedding a light across this earth. And you will be connecting to much of Africa also. As you can tell, there's much darkness there. But in astral, you'll be doing this. This will come more clear at this time. It's probably not that doesn't make any sense, but will eventually. Because much of the Africa before you begin is a hold on your society. It is almost like the center of your planet because that is where darkness roams in secret keeping a control over your planet and you've been there many times now you are knowing this this will it should be coming out more in your dream state you should be able to see this but this is how where the engineers work the most they do work around your world but Africa and many of its islands they work in secret but this is where your Illuminati Presides as for the dark arts, but you have questions. So yeah, um, have <laughs> thank you, thank you for coming through. Thank I was you. hoping you'd come. Through. Thank you for being you. Thank you, all of you, for being you here on this earth. Uh, this, um, uh, this earth is, um, beautiful, and I'd love to. Just thank you for that, and um, yeah, I'll try and send you love often when I thank can. You. <laughs> thank <about> you. <laughs> um, so, um, I mean, I gave reptilians a bad rap, but um, it's it's okay. third and fourth density negative they entities. That, they will get that, over. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but. Um, so that's, um, I'm, I've made some videos and I've been attacked by mm -hmm. negative entities, lower astral, but yes. but the problem I'm having at the moment is that's more reptilian and, and more density 
um, like third and fourth density negative entities. Is that is that what's happening? Um, oh me yeah. at the moment. Yes, there is a a blanket of negative entities. Some are Syrian. that are what, wishing to control the way you think. You you mentioned earlier about your programming. Yeah. Uh, your, your work that you are working on, they are interfering yeah. with that. Your Syrians are very much in tech. All aliens are in technology, but Syrians are involved with that. You can put a okay. shield around yourself with this one. I will send you information on how to do this. Archangel Michael will assist you on this to bring build your barriers around you because they are. The entities around you are becoming very sophisticated than they do others. Yes, you are under attack. A major attack. Major. Many reptilians, many Syrians, many even Nordics are involved with this. Okay, wow. Well, it, it actually makes me feel very special. Yes, you are. <laughs> it does. So I have to thank him for that, really. Yes, you are. <laughs> Think of yourself, I know it's not the best way of looking at it, but think of yourself as a Christmas tree. You're slowly, well, your your lights are coming on little by little. You're reactivating your your source energy. You've been able to connect to my energy more clearly, but you're still in the early stages of that. Okay. I'd love that when, when I get there. Um, so I just, I just want to tell people yes. what they're doing. They, um, they, they tried to scare me out of connecting. Um, yeah. They interfere with my connection to you. Um, I, I feel that and the information that I get. Um, I even think they, in it, like I went and saw a, another psychic once and I thought, I think she gave me bad information and that come from them, like they're very sneaky. Yes. And um, yeah, they're my diet, I mean, I'm, and my programming, they're making me very busy and hungry all the time. And I just think that it's um, this third density, like everything has to be right for when I program and nothing ever is. It's like I, I need another a coffee, which I'm giving up, but um, or something. I need to, to have everything perfect when I sit down. And I think that's how they use this third density against you. Is that? Is that right? Yeah, that is correct. They are playing yeah. with your mind. They are trying to detach you from what is important to you. They want to make you miserable as possible is what they are doing. They've been successful yeah. to a certain extent, but they they have backed off now. And I believe they will continue to step back now. Now, especially with more awareness, what you have done correctly is to make this known. Yeah, that's was, what I want to do. Yeah. Many will send you energy also. And those entities that were doing this have let themselves out of the closet also. They're showing others how they operate. And that's not always good for them because they, when others learn of what they're capable of, that can be, they can be affected, meaning their trickery is known now. So they have to, every step they try to control humanity, others will look it up and find out that this is nothing new and learn how to counteract it. Yeah, this is, I want to just, yeah, I want to bring that awareness out. So, yeah, so that's, that's fantastic. I, I just want to tell everyone where I'm at. Like, um, my, I've, I've, um, I mean, a couple of months ago, I mean, I wasn't even dreaming of my psychic ability was zero, I guess. Um, well, uh, to me it was. Yeah. Um, my crown chakra was 30%. My third eye was 2%, I was told. Um, but now I'm getting visions a little bit. I, I'm picking up on feelings a little bit. I see color in my visions a little bit. It's very unclear sometimes, and I'm I'm dreaming, and I'm starting to help others with my visions a little bit. That I, the ones that I trust with my visions. Um, so, where where am I now? 
sort of slightly where's my third eye and crown chakra is that does that matter or I'm yeah. opening up a little your third eye is around 40 percent at this time wow that's a huge difference your, your chakras are at a the easiest way to say without going through each one is at a halfway point you're doing well you're doing healthy you're so you want to move in more of the 90 percent on all your chakras but you're doing well for where you are at this moment thank you yeah i just wanted to let everyone know that's yeah um yeah um so the other, next thing is that i was attacked by negative entities and I mean, everyone around me here, um, from from lower astral, um, in my bed, I've done videos. Um, of, but the main thing I want to bring up here is that the negative entities were around. The first impression I get from people that, I mean, because that happened to me, I must be a bad person. You know, like they they think that. So I just I just wanted to get your opinion on that to like to help everyone there that they're not bad people they're just being attacked so. well you are becoming aware of your abilities you're reactivating yourself but also in, in astral you're very active you're bringing spreading love across this planet Entity, entities do not care much for that those that are service to self do not want your earth to awaken and you are very part and many others are part of this awakening across this earth many do not believe all this because they are not ready spiritually to fully understand all of this this is but they will be there eventually but until then yeah. those that feel that you are a bad person that is not the case you are just stepping on many entities on their feet as you can say on their toes and they do not care much for that yeah, so if, I mean, if other people want to come out and say they've been attacked by negative entities, I mean, you're not a bad person. I want to just bring that awareness out there. It just, just happens. So my, my videos on YouTube, um, you can search them up. At the, it's Child of Light and Negative Entities. Um, so, um, Prime Creator, um, God, I, I'd like to call you... Um, so if the information, the information in my videos, like in the majority of it, they are it is correct. Yes, it is an education for others. Yes, it is correct. It is an education for others. It might be a good idea if you feel comfortable to tell others of what you've been through, if you want to go through it briefly. Yeah, the, um, that's all in my videos. I, I mean, I, I got yeah. attacked. You want to say that here though. As up to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I got attacked on my um, my bed. I got woken up. I got my iPad thrown on my chest. I got dragged down my bed, and then I was paralyzed. And they, the negative entity, wanted to bring me, um, wanted to scare me, show me that I could it could do physical things to me. Um, I wanted to battle it, <laughs> which is. Um, um, probably not a lot what other people would do, but um, I think a lot of my, from my awareness with watching Ivan's videos, um, I, I mean, I, and I, I, yeah, so, and I brought in Archangel Michael and God, and um, I mean, you guys showed me that, um, that I, I am powerful. There was a very empowering, um, Thing that happened to me um, so thank you very much for that it's all in my video so I, I just wanted to touch on it briefly I guess thank you that. yes that will help others that are still new to all of this that they did try to possess you but you're not aware of where you are heading where you will I believe I mentioned this but I mentioned it again where you be touching others maybe not around the corner but soon but our soon is different than your version of soon. We will be able to educate others, not just with this subject matter, but others. Other subject matters that you have not touched on spiritually yet, that you are still developing on. But once you develop your spirituality more, connecting to the astral realms, 
connecting to the other side also you be able to share your messages with others so there is a you're much of a a weeder but also a messenger I, so, I really want that so thank you I, yes. that's what I want to do yeah that thank is your you place that. here it's always been your place here in that position in this earth thank you um I, I um, just want to share something with people. I, I bought some black, um, I think it's called um, tourmaline or something. It's something like that. Yes. Um, and I put that around the, I mean, I've done some research about the negative entities like the lower astral type. And I put that at the edges of my house and around my room. And I did some research with salt and, and sort of incense and so basically I just want to say that anything that you find on the internet that you I mean I love rocks that's why I did that with the rocks um, but it's anything that you believe will help will that that'll work sort of thing is that that's you the are correct yes yeah so it's it's it, I mean a lot to do with what you like and what you believe but just mm -hmm. pretty much anything yes. but, yeah thank you for that um, so, um, where I'm at now, um, the lower astral type negative entities, I feel like they've gone. That that's um, they're not really harassing me. I don't feel them like I did. <laughs> they're at they're at a distance. They are watching and listening, but they're unable to get close to you. But they are trying many tricks still but they are not working as they used to. They will continue okay. until you have your full awareness around you of who you truly are. You're not fully knowing who you truly are here yet. You know yourself, but not entirely. Your connections okay. to the universe, your connections to this earth. You have many connections with Mother Earth also. This empowers you as you more you part of the mother earth family the gaia family but also your connections to this solar system is very personal for you and this will okay. come through over time um the gaia family i often go down and hug her when i ground exactly. <laughs> i mean probably different to a lot of people but yeah how many do that not many do this <laughs> i should tell you something yeah, yeah. yeah um, she, she is like a grandmother to you in many ways, she says. But she is your family. Yeah. I used to feel her in a bit of pain, so I, I love giving her hugs. Yes. Yeah. yes. Um, a, 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 another thing that I want to bring out there is a lot of mediums, um, psychic people, talk about closing they close down. I want to be always open. Mm -hmm. I want to have be more and more open so I can mm -hmm. be receptive all the time. Yes. Um, there's nothing really wrong with that, is there? Like, no. no as long as um, you have your protections around you, which you are still warning, but for the most part, you are safe. And you will continue to understand how to bring this barrier around you. It is not a barrier. It is so oh, it is that is not the correct way, but for your earth it would be good enough for you to understand. It's like a shield of light around you. So yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask about that soon. I'm gonna <laughs> I've got a big list here. There, there is one around you, but it's not always fully active. It has its sometimes the doors swing back and forth. But being fully open, many Psychics are afraid to be fully open because they're scared of what might come in because they're attracting much They're not realizing it because they have a lot of some darkness within them that they realize that they They realize they are attracting beings, but not is just normal. It's nothing wrong with that Yeah, I, I think I've spent years getting over that darkness lesson and yes, and yes, you have. now and now that I've had the negative entities. I'm not scared exactly. anymore. Like, yeah, so I'm, I, I think I'm in a good place. Yes, when I speak of darkness, I'm speaking of ego. 
and that sometimes attracts much darkness. So you have to. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, you're always gonna have some ego, but some have such an ego where it does and embeds itself in darkness. And that's how the entities play with many of the light workers, because they show that you are better than others as for your connections, and then you use it for wrongdoing. I I I don't have much of an ego, like mm -hmm. I'm I'm gifted that way. Yes. But I think it when I if when I become very connected, I'll probably deal with that again. I'm, I can see that coming. Yeah. But oh, you're very I'm humble, very, though. You have your your heart is in the right place. So yes, yeah. you're always, always having a positive outcome. Always. Thank you for that. Um, so I um, wanted to say that now that my I'm I'm connecting psychically a little bit more, um, and I'm picking up things from people um, that I'm around better, and but now that I'm more sensitive, I the advertising media and if I have someone negative around me it really affects me and makes me angry to a point quickly where it, that never happened before um, but I, I just want to say that um, that I also learnt that sending like someone makes you angry at work I, I learnt that if I sent them love and light um, the next day everything was fine it, it, that helps a lot, doesn't it? It's like nice. when, yeah. So, thank you for that. Um, so all this is subtle. It's just more my sensitivity, I think, that's increased. So, um, I've, and also been given a lot of readings because I'm in a psychic school, and I've been finding there's negativity everywhere. Like in my, my um, the last generation in my family. Um, there's work negativity, um, the frustration of doing my program, there's negativity. Um, this psychic stuff's been frustrating just getting to the point where I'm at a little bit, you know, like it hasn't, I haven't been doing it long. I just, just want to bring that out there that um, there's a lot of negativity around me. So um, I just, yeah, so it's a, They've got the negative entities do have a lot to work with, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, so that's part just, of your test, though. Yeah, I, I, I feel that. Um, yeah, and and um, the negative entities uh, were trying to stop me from connecting to people. There was a um, I read an email wrong and I got angry a little bit, kind of angry. It was weird, but I read his email later and I got a different take on it altogether. So I'm just want to put out there that they they are affecting my emotions also, these these entities. That's the case, isn't it? For yes, a, a, they are to a little, for a little bit. I do not see them doing it anymore. But they were at one time, they still had a stronghold over you. But now, as much has been lifted at this time, they have stepped back drastically now. Well, that's great. The last thing <laughs> they want, the last thing they want is attention, and you're giving them much attention at this time. So they are stepping back and listening, but also realizing the game is over to a certain extent for them. At least. As for you, your involvement with them. They Thank like, you. I'd... Yes, they don't like to be known too much. That's for sure. <laughs> um. Yeah. So um, the oh the last thing that happened, I got a um, I just I got a vision that I was on a I was out on a little boat in the ocean, and there was a storm. And I got capsized, and I was on a little island. And the vision I got was I needed to grab it, uh, get some people, a few people on shore to, to help drag me in. And yeah, so this this is what prompted this. Um, I, I thank my guides, higher self, whoever gave me that. that yes, vision. your guides, your guides. Yes, your higher self. Your guides saw that you needed much help to bring you out of this 
bring you confidence that you are doing well. You are already doing fine. But this brings more confidence to you that you will not be attacked again. This, in, this situation with your email was not too long ago, but they have drastically moved back because they realize their time is coming to an end, at least their involvement with you and others over time. They still have many others under their spell, though. But that's up for your humanity to awaken to that, though. Yeah, I hope this helps. Um, another thing I learned to, to do is... Um, my mind used to, to race all the time and uh, say one thing happened, I, I got a, um, I had an argument with an ex um, and that argument started playing over and over and over in my head and then I, I then covered that, I made it like an, um, a thing and I covered it in love and light, um, that whole conversation I was getting, and and asked my guides what, what's this about. And I've been finding a lot of thoughts I cover in love and light and they just disappear. Is that that's that's you know, it's all them, isn't it? That's, yes, um, this is negativity that you've had around for you for some time. Everyone has a certain amount of negativity around them. And this is the type of negativity that was draining your mind. There was a reason they kept circling that around your mind is to tire you out and to make you more negative, to bring out yeah. anger out of you also, and maybe even violence, whatever they can get out of you. Because the more sensitive and more stronger you are, the more they attack. Yeah, yeah. So, um,. So um, my mind's quiet now, and I do that a lot. I cover my thoughts. I, yeah. I, I bring my awareness and cover them in love and light, like just yeah. thought. And that helps a lot. So I yes. want to bring that out there, everyone, to do that. <laughs> yes, to call on the angels. Michael, the angels will assist you, but yes, it is good for you to have your energies with their energy to clear out. But we have to be wanting this to release also. Some call the angels and say they did, not, they did not work. It's because you did not want them to work. So there's much, much healing that needs on this planet. There's much needed. Um, I just want to bring everyone's attention to um, Archangel Michael come through Ivan a little video on the Third of July about the future and now, and then had a, a bit of a talk about the negativity and and stuff. So, thank you. That helped me. That answered heaps of my questions that I had at that time. So, thank you. <laughs> that was great. Um. So, I, I guess I want to get into the practical side of of how to um um like what I'm doing now um, with like um, meditations and stuff yes. and I, I got help um, I got help with I did grounding but you guys um, when I had that attack that um, you and Archangel Michael taught me to ground permanently but do it every day that was a uh, you guys helped me with that yes thank, thank you for that um, and I, I, I bring uh, my attention's been brought to sun gazing lately, um, and it, it's middle of winter here, <laughs> so early mornings and afternoons and that. But you can just do it whenever. Just go into the sun and um, close your eyes. You don't have to have them open, do you? you can just close your eyes if it's middle of the day. Yes. And. Um, yeah, just just meditate in the sun, and that's yeah gives you a lot of benefits. Well, yeah, especially after an attack that you went through, or any kind of negativity that is around you, visualize the sun. Be out in the sunlight, or visualize the sun's energy, cleansing you, as if you were walking through the sun into the sun. You will feel Gaia's energy. We also feel yourself reawakening, also. 
which has been tormenting many on this planet ever since they were children. It's always need to be released. Many past lives you are not that uh, need to be connected to you any longer to allow yourself to be reborn. Um, the, the couple of other meditations. Um, um, Yeshua said to manifest the timeline where my program and everything is working. Like do that ten minutes every day. So that's a good thing for everyone to do. Yes, and um, uh, and I, I guess the other meditation is like going into nothingness, um, and that just just get a baseline of how you're feeling um, and everything, and and then when you like say on the way to work, just do that in the car, and when you're at work, when you pick up on other people's feelings and everything you're more aware of it that's a good thing to do that's a um yeah i don't want to waste everyone's time but there's, there's lots of different meditations but is there is there any major ones that i, I everyone should be doing at the moment or it's that sort of just meditate in general there's one thing what you want to do is as I said earlier, is to make sure you have your boundaries out to protect your energy. As others are sending out their energy all over the place, unaware of it. Because they do not ground, they do not have the idea of securing their space. So one thing, you do not want others' energy to interfere with yours. Because you want to, it is for your benefit. Because when you're around negative people, you become negative with them. That's the last thing you want to do. This is surround yourself with light from the angels, from God, to secure a, a shield around yourself, a bubble, you can say. So that way you don't get pulled into their negative struggles. They are unaware of it usually, how negative they are and how they are energy vampires. But they're, it is helpful. But yes, yeah, being... You will become more sensitive to others, which is fine, but the last thing you want is their energy to interfere with yours. Um, mm -hmm. Archangel Michael, I, I mean, um, in that, that video, that future and now video that I already talked about, he talked about a vortex of um, posi um, positivity. Yes. Now, that that is um, a... Um, a been given help from other people and they said that is a yellow wing that comes from Gaia and that's like that um, mm -hmm. that's pretty far from you at least two two feet but you could probably be better if it's a little bit more and that drags negativity you just imagine that it's swirling around you in a clockwise yes. direction and that comes from Gaia yeah yes whatever meditation that works best with you to bring oh, your take whatever it is, yes. Okay. It could be wings and of angels surrounding you. It could be halos, whatever you wish for it to be. Because everyone's different here. As long as you have okay. a positive intention to... Because your shield is much important because others will take advantage of you not having it. And they already do that in your media and your politicians do this by using words of manipulation. So um, I'll do a meditation and, and just my intention would be to, another thing he said was a shield of love from you. Yes. And um, so it's, you, your intention is to create that permanently, but you do it every day. Yes, so every just, day, just, many times if you wish. Yeah, and I mean, I, after you've got it there, you can just do it with your eyes open, just concentrate on it. Yeah. So, um, thank you for that. Do um, a blessing for yourself and for others also. Those that do not understand what they are doing with their energy. You can also send them a blessing if you wish. To cleanse them, to help them discover what they are doing, that their energy field is everywhere. 
and that they can understand their spiritual selves also. So, in, w w whatever type of shield that people want to shield themselves with, and um, also like t concentrating that that like physical circumstances and situations that you're in, even if they're negative, and you 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 treat them as separate to you, and you've got these shields, you, you should be able to raise your vibration a lot, shouldn't you? Like yes, your you happiness, and without outside in things affecting yes the, because doing this as many uh, do this more often you connect to the other side you connect to the spirit world in the spirit world you begin to even see it and feel it and see your role there and your role here and how important it is for you to be here there is much at work as you raise your vibration, you will see many things. I can't wait for that. <laughs> um, so um, my notes are all over the place. So sorry. Um, yeah, getting back to to blessing. Um, um, Yeshua talked a bit about that in um, some private sessions, but um, I, I guess basically. You, you can do it however you want, but I, I hold my one hand over my heart and I bless my food and say that it's it's good. Um, it will be good for me, less water. I He told me to bless my program that I'm writing. Yes. So I, I do that towards my screen and the house. And I guess so as, as well as sending love and light to people that have annoyed you at work also bless them is that yeah so that, yes that's all good to do send them energy but sometimes some will reject it and it is not always necess necessary to send them energy send them but always pray for those that reject your love okay. they will come around eventually it might take several decades for that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Even um, on the so deathbed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. I I have just curious about one thing. Um. I'm I've been lonely now for for five years and that, um like a, a fair while. I'm not trying to um complain or anything. But the, the point is, when I'm feeling lonely and unloved, I, I, um, when I, I send people love that are around me, all that goes away. So it's, it's like a need to love, isn't it? That's yes. the concept, really. It's, it's you're, you denying yourself the love exactly. is where that heartache comes from. So, yeah, that's... Thank you very much for that. <laughs> yes, because some forget, yes, they want a partner, but they forget to love themselves. They don't even realize they can love themselves first, have a relationship with yourself, and you realize not having a partner is not a big deal. It is nice to have someone that you can assemble a conversation with, but it is not a necessity. Of course, it is part of bringing children into this earth but you do not have to keep that relationship going on as many wish to experience many relationships as you can see on this planet so it is a constant flow so you flow with it once you know who you are that is the biggest battle on this planet is discovering yourself yeah so your your heartache is you blocking that flow really yes. and not sending it out yeah oh, thank yes. you it's a huge concept that i think that that's that would be good yes because <laughs> yes, like, many wish for you to go to a a church to find the god that they are selling you the one that they their belief systems but it's for you to find god on your own but also find yourself also 
How can you find God if you don't even know who you are? So it is you can find all of us, your spirit realm, everything that was within you, that is around you, your guides, your loved ones that passed over. When those that get close to death, then they suddenly realize they have to become spiritual and realize there is an afterlife. And then they look back at the rest of their lives like, I miss so much, but they don't still yeah. fully understand it. Um, I'm getting there now, so it's yes. time for me. <laughs> it's beautiful, too. Uh, thank you. Um, I, um, I, I, I know that I'm going on a lot of little points here, but I'll, I'll okay. keep going. But, so, sorry, yeah. Um, another thing is um, um, the, my diet. I'm trying to go on a vegan diet with um, not much meat and drink filtered water and someone got on the video somewhere and said apples were bad but everything sort of is is um it's just people's take and and yes. as long as you bless your food everything's fine isn't it really exactly yes yeah but i i, I i'm a lot better having filtered water i think <laughs> i feel a lot better so oh yes um um, so, um, I, another thing that worries me a little bit is um, when I'm doing my program, I was worried that they, they would interfere and make me do big stuff ups or, or that I'd use my psychic ability and try ask something that's really important to me and these negative entities would give me the wrong, the wrong thing. So if I, if I bless my program, set up these shields, and then do my programming, um, less the space around me. Do just do as much as I feel I need to. Yes, do what um, you feel. Yes, everything will be be fine. So, yes, yeah. for your program, you send energy to it. Say all will be fine. You can send a blessing to it if you like. But to your electronics, to say we will connect well today. <laughs> Right, You'd but that, that does, yeah, so that, that, yeah, Yeshua said that really does work. Yes. Yeah, so that, I mean, that, uh, yeah, everyone know that, like, yeah, it does actually work, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, um, is, um, so, I mean, even, I, I, I mean, I, I, I was going to get to this point. I suppose you've, you've um, relieved me a little bit to saying they're backing off. But um, even if I've got these shields and everything around me um, and my emotions, it's just with these negative entities like these density ones um, and they're manipulating your brain, like mind, your thoughts and emotions a little bit, it's just a... a form of telepathy isn't it like it's just it's just a little little yeah so you just gotta I mean you can set these shields up and everything but it, it's um, just they can always give you little thoughts really oh yeah because they continue to attack from a distance yes but now you are it depends on where you are mentally where you are spiritually if you're with activity, you have nothing to worry about. You will know how to clear out their messages. But yes, you are everyone that is awakening others. You are technically in a war with the dark side, you could say. But there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I'm. I'm not afraid. I'm just. Yes. Yeah, I'm just like just yes, working right. out what's what's going on. Yeah. Yes, they they vent their their heat. You can say their. Their frustration, they have to send it somewhere, and why not the one that's awakening others? There is a, also a possibility of reptilian visitations, but only because they're just frustrated by you awakening others. Not to say they're trying to say they have negativity around them. Not to say they're trying to be negative with it, throw negativity on you. They're just venting. 
So there's a possibility we're here, though, feel those presence. They have had visited this one several times. That's why I'm mentioning it. Oh, OK. <laughs> but they're nothing to worry about. They're just, they eventually will find something else to do once they figure out that they can no longer take your energy down. So they will, they will, they will continue to send you messages of frustration is one way of looking at it to play with your mind a little bit, but we feel that you will, you will be fine now. There, there's a, a, a certain level of protection. I did this in one of my videos um, that um, transcends your belief systems and that, and one that you've got free will, um, and you've got free will to call in you and Archangel Michael. Um, that sort of, even even if your beliefs are wrong, you can still do that, and yeah. it'll still help. Yeah, and you you've got a, a kind of a a soul contract. It's not really a written thing. It's just what you wanted to happen when you come into this, yeah, yeah. Um, incarnation. So that kind of has to be followed to a point. Yes. Um, and and the last thing, if they go against your soul contract, your free will, or, you know, what what's supposed to happen, they will get a sort of a karma debt. Is that is that kind of how it works? Where, where they don't, um, it's not in their benefit to go against someone's free will and, you know, like, they can, they sort of attack you by getting you to think the wrong way, not by exactly. actually doing it. Yeah. It, it does affect them karmically to a, to a certain degree. But it's you that the one that is following that direction they are giving you. It will affect you karmically also to a certain extent. But they will be affected by it. Not as much as you because you're the one going down the path that you did not chose. Choose. You've been tricked. Even some politicians do this often. Behind closed doors, of course. But later, yeah, that so, come out the public, though. So yeah, um, yeah, thanks. I yeah, I just want to bring everyone's attention to that. So yeah, thank you. Um, um, oh, um, Yeshua told me. Um, he he mentioned about um uh, the the negativity. I've already talked about it, but using the third density um, ag against you, like making me always busy to do something like before I can do my programming. I've already touched on it. But he said there's, there's um, you can go a, a long way to reversing that en energy. And that's basically all we've talked about before, is it? Like um, the things we've already talked about, the shields, the blessing, Yes. That's what he was getting at. Yes, you can reverse what they send you. You can, for this direction, yes, you are correct. You can get yeah, the blessings connecting with God. Also, to connect to the other side, to bring, visualize the other side, the energy, the love from the other side. To cleanse your space also. To allow the angels to bring in that energy. Neutral energy, but also a healing energy also. And this will bring in... This will, you can say, also put you back on track also. Because they do steer you away from being on track. But that is part of your lesson. It is up to you to get back to on track. But that is your... Sometimes it's not nothing wrong with being diverted, but being completely diverted life-wise is a choice on your part. Your soul wishes to explore that. But to get back on track is to do a prayer to clear out this, this inconvenience that is around you. Okay. Yeah. To so, bring yeah. in... Bring in more of a subtlety to get your work done. It's like you can pray and say, I would like to 
able to accomplish my work without interference, please. And I'll be, I'll be doing that a lot. <laughs> yes, a always while. before you do your work, maybe, yes. It is up to you to do a prayer in the beginning of to clear the energy out, clear your space. Uh, but thank you for all your help. Um, I think I've covered everything. Um, I want to very, I want to give you a little bit more detail about these entities that were causing you trouble. They're also that. they are also connected to your black projects, which is in your all around your world. But Africa is one of them, and the main center of many black projects underground. Some might believe this, that is their business, but you realize the hostilities above ground in your Africa. It is not exactly a safe place now, is it? You go there, you don't know how long you might live. It is all depending on what parts of Africa you go in. The parts of Africa that are the most violent are where your black projects are being operated underground. Your Johannesburg is also much work there also. But usually in your areas where there's much violence across your that continent terrain, this is where a lot of projects are being done. This is where you're shedding your light, showing your light, however word you want to use. You're giving your best intentions, a love through all these spaces. And many entities are not caring for your affection. You're basically telling them that their time is their time is up, is basically what you said to them. And of course, you're going to get a reaction from that. Because you feel like you're getting ready and you will, yes, you have your backlash. And there will be some over time. Like I said, they step back now. But there will be others, um, other confrontations. Now you're aware of the activities. There's a possibility you'll be much more aware of their visitations and you'll be able to handle it more. You are connected to many governmental sources within these facilities. So you'll be shedding much light also. Yes, go ahead, please. I can always call in help. Of course. Um, yeah, from anyone. But this is where Even you're getting your... Your Pleiadians, your Assyrians, they're all involved in all those projects. And your human, your populations will eventually become known to this, but they are much rather be asleep than awake, as you can tell. It is, they feel it's better to be watching their televisions, living what they're told to be to live, not realizing they're a spiritual being and they're capable of so much more. I I want to yeah I want to help them to oh yes yeah. they see you yes words from the other side your guides give birth to another way another way of thinking not of resistance but of love but also a new way of looking at the world and yeah, uh, my, my number one that I want to do that with is my father. <laughs> He's a total non-believer. I'll be very connected before I, I deal with that one, I think. Yes, but well, look at this, though. Your father, is a rep he's representing the world, how the world thinks, for the most part. Not everyone, of course, but a good population. It gives you yeah. an idea of how to approach others that are in the same situation so it is a test for you you will be able to well we'll leave it this is we'll just leave that with you you will know what you understand where you're going where i'm going with all this but it is a good teacher of you of how the rest of the world thinks yeah i mean i mean yeah i don't want to i don't want to force it upon of course you. not of course not no, that's I why i just yeah. pulled back on that yes Maybe slowly, yes. Exactly. Exactly. It just It's like little bits of rain here and there. Just little yeah. tidbits. Nothing. The last thing I want to do is to force anyone into any type of thing. No, not at all. That is not. 
It's just you're showing him your world, and that's his world, and you can always make a choice. Yes, the last thing you want to do is force anyone into anything. But from the spirit world's point of view, we do see much benefit, especially in the elderly. But anyway. Because <laughs> they, oh. they put themselves through so much agony around their time of leaving this earth that it does not need to be like that. It can be an easy transition, and many make it hard because they ignored spirituality, their spiritual selves, which is okay. Is, is my grandmother going through that, Ma? My, is, she's she's ninety five, and she's not. She's crossing over slowly, I think. Like slowly, yes, it could be a simpler transition. She's not going through agony, but oh, somewhat during her day, it is kind of, it's repetition. It is, she feels like she's not getting, she's not doing as much as she could be doing. She likes to go on further, live on maybe 10, 20 more years. But that is, oh, okay. a, is a possibility. Unlikely, but it's a possibility. It's up to her. But it is her visualization of her life. It's her guides are assisting her on crossing over, but she is unwilling to do so. Her time here is pretty much she has learned her lessons here. And it is time for her to go, but she is willing to stay a little bit longer. As for agony, I do not see that, but it is it could be better. Let's put it that way. Um, I, 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 the last thing that I, I want to talk about is um, there's a lot of negativity on the on the news. I, I mean, I don't want to bring yes. um, this into it, but the the um, the act the the how do you pronounce it? The the ones that the really active like the killing sprees, like the, the Muslim attacks and I just, I mean, there's other people out there that do just as bad stuff, but generally people are afraid when that comes up and that sort of information comes out and um, I, I, I suppose there's been a lot of he, uh, help here on this channel about that. Um, I, I just try and tell people that it's, you know, it won't really come into their reality. Mm. Um, you know, it doesn't have to. Is, is you got anything more to really add to that? Yes. It was Budapest, wasn't it, where this this act of terror happened? I believe it was. Oh, there's been a few around the world, I think. Yeah. The recent ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, with France also. I, I don't watch the new, the news yes. that much. <laughs> yes, and this one does not do there, so connecting to that correctly. But either way, what is happening to your Earth is a shift. Many do have fear, but more have anger. But that anger gets you nowhere, does it? It makes you more violent, more disconnected from spirit. And that is why they do these things. They want you angry. They want you materialistic to buy your guns or whatever it might be. The less spiritual you become, the better for them. That's how they keep your world in a lower vibration. The more you pray, and many are praying, but also they still have fear and anger within them. The more you trust spirits, to trust God, to send out love to everyone, to bring peace to this planet, it will eventually find itself in a peaceful time. But first, it must, as more become more peaceful, the violence will continue just to keep the peace happening across your earth. But it's up to you, this is a test to keep, is you want to be in depression and anger, or you want to be in a spiritual understanding that everything will work out. If it's your time to go, it's your time to go. But no matter what, you're always sending love to no matter who it is, even those that bring this violence into this earth. 
Yes, his violence is not helping anything, but is here as a teacher. A teacher of who you are. The more you find yourself, the more you love your who you are. The more you're not afraid, the more loving you become. It is that simple, but difficult to get to. Difficult to fully understand. You don't have to understand yourself completely, like all your 200 lifetimes or anything like that. But at least you have to understand that you are spirit, you are of love. There is an afterlife where it is loving wherever you want to go, because some choose not that, but that is fine. Wherever they choose to go, it will be fine. You understand that you are a spirit of love and your energy will send out to others, reconnecting to those who need you who you need to be connected with. This will try cause a chain reaction across your worth, connecting you all to each other. And where this violence will eventually burn itself out. But your world is nowhere near that at this time. But it is getting there. Uh, thank you. I, yeah, I, I've got things to tell people now that I see that when I see that they're afraid when they're, yes. they're talking yeah. about some of the situations, yeah, that it won't come into their reality and they don't need to. Um, if it was their time, they would be already be gone. So exactly. there's no reason to fear. Yeah, thank you for that. And if it is your um, time to go, it is still you. Life goes on. It's just this physical body. You feel like this is all there is. It is time to rethink that. Yes, go ahead. Please. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, that that'll help a lot. I think. Yeah, yes. saying that to people. Thank you. Um. Is there any anything else to add to this? Anyone that wants to come through or add something or ah uh, yes. Um, yes, Michael has one a little message. One moment. Blessings to you. Thank you. I am Michael. Thank you. Thank yes. you for all your help. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. My message to your world is simple. To chill out. To not let yourself worry so much. To allow yourself to take it easy. Let the stress release itself. Let it go. This negativity on this world, yes, it is massive, but it is so easy to move it away. But it is needed for soul growth. That is understandable. But to have negativity around you 24-7 to consume you all the time, it is not needed any longer. Of course, if you wish to continue in that, that is fine. But... Do you realize you have many lifetimes here on this earth, many aspects, and so much to give to the universe and to yourself. Do not live in fear, but to send love, but don't forget who you are. Many, yes, are still trying to figure out what their place is here in this world. But... Living with fear and anger gets you nowhere in this monetary system. Eventually, it will vanish from your planet. And to let it do that. But not to put fear that you will not be able to feed yourself either. The less fear you have, the better. Just the knowing that all will be fine will make everything fine. If you go through a struggle... It is needed for your soul growth, but realize it will all work out. Yes, you have something to say, please. 
Um, can I ask you a, a question? My program that I'm writing on the computer, I'm getting very frustrated and the, the way I deal with that is I need to make it fun again, don't I? Like, yes. I need to enjoy it again. And yes. Yeah. That's that's the, the main issue I think I need to yeah, yeah. to deal with there. Yeah. So yes, yeah. and one thing about these entities are yes, they have bad attitudes, but in the long run, they are not as bad as you might think. Yes, they put on a have a good show, but. Trust me, you can handle them just fine. Thank you. Yes, they are bullies, but they are trying to protect their space, that is all. But that is fine, there's, but it is not doing humanity any good, though. There's, there's lots of space out there. Exactly. They can, <laughs> they can find their own. Exactly. Find their own. <laughs> So there's nothing else. I will leave you be. Um, I'm, uh, just this morning, and um, I've, I'm getting a lot clearer. Like my yes uh, visualizations and everything. Um, that uh, that's because they've all moved back. Just um, these negative entities. Yeah. Yes, they are clearer. at a distance. They will continue to listen and be somewhat bothersome, but nothing that you cannot handle. You'll be fine. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been a huge help. Is it? Is there something that I can do to um, help my visualizations? Is it like um, close my eyes and and try and imagine something to make it clearer. Is that something I should try and do at the moment, or just let let things come to me to make things clear? Is there something I should work on? No, just to be as you are, to meditate when you feel like meditating, dream when you feel like dreaming, just go with the flow. You don't have to make this work, just flow with it. As you're talking to your guides or talking to me or talking to God, just say it. It can be mentally, it can be verbally, it does not matter, we hear it all. If you ask, if you're sending us, Michael, how are you doing? You know, high five, or however you want to word that. <laughs> it all works. It all works. We hear all prayers, always. So, do you just bring more joy into your life? Do not make it hard. The harder it is, the harder it is to become spiritual. Yeah. And just enjoy your time here as much as you can. It is difficult to find. Enjoyment here to for some it is understandable, but to find to create your joy to actually have your moment of peace is important for your spiritual growth. And all what you want will come through as your third eye and your psychic abilities it will come through eventually. Um, I. Thank you and and God, like I've I've really felt peace in the heart at yeah. some times that I, you guys have sent. So thank you for that. Yes, it's been great. Yes, I must be going now. So there's nothing else. No, just yeah. Thanks for all your help and time. Yes, much what? Blessings yeah. always to you and the rest of the world. Much love. Thank you. Thanks, Ivan. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Um, do you want to say anything for the end of this or anything? No. Thank you, everyone. I, uh, this helps everyone. <laughs> thank you. All right. Help me.